Welcome back to the 9 a.m. We are at the St. Louis Aquarium celebrating Shark Week, and Tammy Brown is joining us once again. And uh, a lot of people would think if you're close enough to touch a shark, you may be too close. <laughs> But well, not here. It actually is encouraged. Right, right. So I will say, you know, if you do see a shark and you're out swimming in the ocean, maybe you want to go the other way. But here at the St. Louis Aquarium, we can touch our bamboo shark. So that's what you got right there. It's kind of <laughs> letting me massage it a little yeah, bit Yeah, exactly, exactly. So they have the choice. If they want to interact with you, they can swim right by. Otherwise, they go right in the middle and hang out. I love that. I love that. It's pretty cool. Not, not every day you get to touch a shark. You also That's got right. the rays in here, and they're very closely related, right? They are, yeah. They're both what's called an elasma brink. They are related, and uh, so that's why they live here happily together. I love that. Uh, so in, in, you got the touch pond here, but you've also got a touch cart where people We do, can... yes, yeah. So, you know, everyone's fascinated by great white sharks and megalodons. So we want to kind of demonstrate uh, all the different interesting facts about those animals. So this, what do, you, what do you think that would be? That looks like a shark's tooth. That is a shark's tooth, absolutely. So that's a great white. That's a great white's tooth right and there. And you hear about the megalodon. That's a, that's a megalodon tooth. That's yeah. huge. Yeah, absolutely. And then here at the aquarium, if you want to see, this is more the size of a tooth of a shark that we have have here in the aquarium sandbar shark right right sandbar shark so you can see the difference between those two wow, that's a big difference <laughs> it's a pretty big difference yeah great whites are pretty amazing no doubt can you guess what this is i have no idea <laughs> its nickname is a mermaid's purse but it's actually an egg for a shark no kidding a shark egg yeah so some huh. some sharks lay eggs and some sharks have live births so this is an actual shark egg that we have taken out of the, the touch pole here. Unbelievable. That's really cool. What is this one here? That is, so we talked about stingrays being related. Um, that is the barb of a stingray. So okay. this will show you what that looks like as well. What's, okay. what's it like for the young people to come here and they actually get to get their hands on these, get perspective? Well, I think that's exactly it. You know, the, the more hands-on we can be, and that's what we try so hard to do, uh, the more hands-on, the more inspiring, and the more memorable their visit is. And that is really what we're pushing for, is to try to make everybody walk out of here with one, at least one, aha moment. Lots of views to get here to the shark. The one view you don't want to get is right here. You want to avoid that one at all costs. Yeah, absolutely. I hear that. I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we are at the St. Louis Aquarium at Union Station. We are celebrating Shark Week. Yeah, you got your touch cart touch pool so much to do here and we're going to introduce you to one of their ambassador animals going beyond just the sharks that's coming up right here fox 2 news 9 a.m <laughs>